Hi everyone, Mixi here. Today I'll show you how I won a extra large pom pom puree plushie. So I was checking out the machines and I found looks like someone left this plushie in this like kind of halfway falling a little bit. So I thought I would be winnable in a few tries because it was on double bars. They're not parallel, but they're pretty spaced apart and the plushie could fall between them. And I don't think it would get stuck. The starting position of the crane was in front of the front bar and there was plenty of space to maneuver the crane, either the right side of the plush, the left side of the plush, in back of the plush and in front of the plush. So it definitely looked like a very winnable plushie. So let's start with my first move. So I aimed for the front corner because quite a bit of it was hanging over the bar and it looks like the crane had good lift. So I definitely went for the front corner again. Almost missed but definitely able to catch the corner and was able to move it a lot in that play. So my third play You'll see that I was a little bit too greedy and I hit it because I moved too far to the right. So for my fourth play, I tried again, but I moved it definitely not as much to the right and was able to loop the claw around the leg and it didn't quite pick it up. So now I tried for the back to see if I could move that corner portion off of the bar and help it fall as that was the side I was falling. And you can see that didn't do anything. So I tried sort of like pushing it to get better leverage so that the front leg was now over the bar a little bit more and it was a little bit slightly more level. So I tried for the front corner again. I missed. It snagged. I went too far back. So then I didn't go as far back and tried for the front corner again. And it looks like very promising and it didn't do anything. The leg is just pretty much sitting almost flat on the bar so it wasn't, I wasn't able to get like a good grip on it. So now I tried to kind of like lift slash push, but since it's like a plastic wrap, it was pretty slippery and it's slanted. So I went further back and tried pushing it again. And it did flatten it out a little bit. So then I went back to the front to see if I was able to move the front corner leg since the position was a little different. And, it, no, it looked like it was too heavy. So I tried a different angle to just kind of loop it around the leg. So you see that even the crane moves. And, nope. So then I tried pushing the top corner. And it moved it a little bit, but it wasn't able to push it down. As the leg was still hooked pretty much on this front bar. So I went back to the front corner. I was really trying to move that leg off the bar. And it did move like a little bit. So I tried it again. It looks like it would, but no, it maybe moved a millimeter. So then I went back to try to see if I could kind of push it and that did like absolutely nothing. So I went back to the back corner to say I could possibly lift it now that it was in a more flat position and it, that didn't do anything. <laughs> So then I still tried doing the back but at a slightly different position. Like if I was at a further corner and no, there was just too much weight on that side. So I didn't realize that and I just tried one more time. And uh, it lifted up and went straight back down. 
So for my 20th try, I tried to push it down on the top corner and I missed. So now I went back to the front as the other two, the pushing it and the back corner were completely like useless. And that one actually kind of lifted it. So I was like, hey, let's try centering the claw on the foot to see if it would lift. And it does. It was like a eureka moment. So I went back there, made sure the claw was pretty much centered with the foot to have it lift with both claws. And it does. It does lift it a little bit. Sometimes I forget how strong a claw can be when you use both claws rather than just moving with one claw to one side and here I was completely off. I wanted to do the sweep between the bar trick and there just wasn't enough space. So I went back to just straight up and lift this with both sides of the claw and that gave really good lift. Like it's pretty much falling. And this is my 26th try. And then I won it. So that took a super humongous amount of tries. That was 26 and that was super painful. So I definitely like going through my plays. I probably should have been able to win it in eight if I knew just to go straight after the front corner and lifting it rather than trying for the back so many times and trying to push it. So definitely, like, trying to center the claw so that it picks up the, the prize evenly is not something that I normally use that often. I'm very used to using the side of the claw to help pull the prize to either the right or use the right claw to help pull the prize to the left. So I hope you were able to learn something from that and hope to see you in the next video.